it. Before anything, put a like and subscribe. Uh, tonight I'm going to be live. 8 p.m. Because yesterday, yesterday, it just turned one year that I have culture with Renault set. As you guys been following me for a while, before it was Soccer Forever Presenter Culture, that first year, two years ago. Then I thought to change it because it was a long name. Then on top of that, you know, I wanted to do it in English and Italian. So, so thanks to a paisano of mine, Alberto from All You The Cast, of course. They gave me the idea of this name. And it turned out really great. From a year from now, uh, it's close to 400. So please, subscribe. But I still do an Italian, which you can check it out. Rino Juventino, which I did a live with BJ Juve, Beppe. He's from Italy. Grazie tanto, Beppe. I will tag you on this video. So it is a pleasure then, a pleasure to meet Gianni Bianco and his other guest. So, yeah, things are rolling and things are looking pretty. That's all I can say tonight. It will be by myself. No drinking because I had a bad weekend, so maybe I, I got some beer, an espressettino, and I, we can enjoy with you guys. Because tonight there's going to be a lot to talk about. Of course, with Juventus, it's not going to end. Then we just find out today in the win. But all I can say with Inter, watch out, Milanisti, because these guys are going to win. In the sun, they're going to celebrate in the San Siro. Be careful. Be prepared because I have that gut feeling and I'm a Juventino. I respect Milanese because my mom is a Milanista. So those of you who said that's not going to happen or I don't care, <laughs> you're going to care after if they do win and celebrate at the San Siro. So I don't know how much points left, but we can talk about it tonight. Now, let's keep it short this one. The day after, of course, Juventus and uh, Fiorentino. Guys, all I can say is... Yesterday, the first half was good. Unfortunately, with these calls, it's kind of fishy to me, like the last one for me. But even though we had that goal finally from Gatti, it would be nice to have Kiesa or Vlaovic scoring, but the one from Vlaovic, they took it off. And unfortunately, Kiesa, Mr. Trugina, as we know, he took him off the 58 minute to put uh, Ildits. But in the second half, the classical Allegri ball, Cortomuso. All I care about in this game, these next games, it's a three points. Then we'll see what happens because after the game, after the game, there were some issues in the dressing room. Okay? Because after what Allegri said, that, uh, you know, he got to kind of give a hint to the Società uh, saying something, you know, because he's not happy with the situation. Of course, he's for me, he's trying to find his way to sack him so El Khan can give him the full bonus sheet because if he leaves in the summer he's not going to get the the full he'll get less then you tell me that this guy's a Juventino this guy is a test that he got so that's what I'm gonna, I gotta tell you guys but honestly speaking after what he said yeah the fact that uh, you know saying these things to Ilditz you know what I mean it's uh too much, you know, and the fact that Ilditz was trying to go fast, you know, to score you here, I like, ah, you know, then you say these things to Ilditz, like, uh, he was trying to prove, to keep uh, calls to each comment to show them that, that he needs the, the old school players, for him, the young generation. All I know from this morning I've been hearing from Copa Gobo, Gianni Bazzarini, of course, all you guys, from everybody, everybody, which I've been saying it for months, and a lot of people too, like Copo Gobo, we've been saying it for months, all you guys, uh, Gobo Toscana from here, BJ Juve, we all been saying it, that this guy is going to leave. And it, it looks official. Fabrizio Romano just said it. Juventus is going to put official soon. And this face... This list still goes on with Malta. So, I don't mind Malta, but you know me. My dream is Zidane and Cope. But Mr. Ilkan doesn't like to spend the money. But we always got to be careful with Conte because he's been rejecting Napoli, a lot of things. So, 
I don't mind Malta. I know most of you are scared because I've been talking with a lot of Juventini even last week when I had Benedeschi. Well, when we had Benedeschi in Vancouver, I've been speaking with a lot of Juventini. They're kind of concerned with Malta, but we have to give him a try. Because all these names are coming. Calafiori, uh, Ferguson might be the guy. Now, Addison, I don't know about Addison. You ask me, leave me the comments for me. I want to cook minors, but you need these old things. Samazic, you see, I don't know. I don't want to talk about Mercado. All I care about is the points. To stay top four. Stay top four. And I pray because the Boti de Shambay when Allegri is a casa. With Rabiot, with Alexandro, they cheer you, please. Locatelli, all these players, Kefano uh, Kaka, please go with him. That's it. Like I said, I repeat, I got nothing against Allegri whatsoever, but I'm just only saying, which I, I repeat myself tonight. Allegri, I said it for months that he's going to leave. You guys didn't want to believe me because you guys want to be safe. You guys uh, are scared for a change. Well, you know, after these last nine games, uh, seven points, it is not acceptable in Juventus. Leave the comments down below. See you tonight, 8 p.m. Vancouver time, 11 p.m. Eastern time. E ci vediamo, ragazzi. Ciao, ciao, a you.